मुझे लगता है लोग कभी बदलते नहीं लोग वही रहते हैं आई फील लाइक सर्कम स्टैंड इज रिवील दैट साइड ऑफ द पर्सन आई थिंक यू शुड मैरी वेन यू फाइंड अ पर्सन टू मैरी फ्रॉम योर फेल रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप ऑलवेज बींग प्रजेंटेबल इज इज एग्जॉस्टिंग बिकॉज यू डोंट ऑलवेज लुक लाइक दैट यू डोंट वेक अप लुकिंग लाइक दैट द मो यू पुश थिंग्स द मो फर्दर ओवे दे गेट फ्रॉम यू बी इन अ स्टेट वेर देर इज नथिंगनेस you know people think that becoming an actor is empowering and makes you really like Powerful. invincible yeah you're like nobody can touch you you know but i think it actually makes you a lot more vulnerable like in what way in every way um because every step you take and i mean honestly there's enough moral policing that's done in life and mm. then when you become an actor it becomes like a zillion fold mm. so so i feel like uh, every step you take your whether you like it or not you are taking it from the perspective of what will people think mm. and i think enough number of memes have proved that what people <laughs> think has ruined enough lives mm. so, are you are you happy in life now um i think i have come to this point where i've realized that there is never this point that we will actually be completely happy happy like so you will always to, feel some void yeah that void will always be there but what i have started doing is and very consciously that is is to enjoy the small things uh, i'm sure you you look around you in your industry and you sometimes feel that like, okay why is this person changed so much or has something gotten into them mujhe lagta hai log kabhi badalte nahi log wahi rehte hain i feel like circumstances reveal that side of the person mm. that includes fame name money mm. Um, so who you essentially are, that by that part never changes. Never. You get shadi pressure? Of course. Like I'm like any other average person because mm. it's it is the typical age where you know there is this subconscious. It's not like it's in your face. Sometimes it's in your face. Also. <laughs> of course, there's some people who do it to you, so you're like okay. But it's it's a subconscious thinking. You know, settle ho jana hai. But mm. if this settle ho jana is so unsettling. Hmm. Why are we pushing this generation to do it? Why do you think it's unsettling? For a lot of people it is in the sense that they are being is they are doing it because more like it's the time to do it. Hmm. If you actually give them their their way they'd not choose it. Hmm. What would you choose? I mean I am just going with the flow. I think you should marry when you find a person to marry. Hmm. Like if you feel you want to live with a person and you feel like your life is not nice and fun anymore alone. and this person if the person is in this in your life you feel good about your life mm. then that person should be a can add value to your life so you should get married mm. that's my idea of marriage from your failed relationships what have you learned about relationships um i think we all have a pattern whether we like it or not and we are kind of the victim of our own patterns in our failed relationships if we've had many In my case I think getting out of that pattern was very important. By pattern you mean like you make the same mistake. Do you think that like you know you should date someone really long before settling down with them or you should live in with them or you should travel with them before actually getting married to them? You should travel with them. Hmm. I think it's really a huge um because everyone might not want to live in for xyz reasons and mm. i feel like in india it's also like not not what everyone does some people do it which is great mm. uh, uh but for people who can't do that i think traveling is the next best thing to do what do you look for in an ideal partner i think you should not have to walk on eggshells to be with them you ex- expand that uh like you should not have to stress your day to day life because when your day to day life is a stress because of your partner uh i don't think those relationships last they at some even if they are even if you really get along with them even if they they have you have this strange soul connection with them even if you think that when you're with them you're ecstatic and you feel yeah. you know on top of the world mm-hmm. but if your day to day life is difficult that's not the kind yeah. of life one can continue living you you get tired of that so. do you still believe in perfect romance yes with the right person it it might not be the first guy you meet or first girl you meet but it's possible i've seen it in my own house and my parents have a romance which which i can't even believe exists but uh but that's what i think god bless them they've they've been really 
they've been so idealistic it's made my life miserable i'm finding it really hard to find a partner because they've set the goal <laughs> up so high why why i want to know about this high goal like because i don't know is it a generation problem that we're facing or is it an individual problem but i think um the previous generation found it much easier to put the other person before you hmm i don't see that in today's generation it's all about being selfish yeah hmm. nothing wrong in being selfish but i think love or care of any kind i'm saying even in friendships forget a relationship i'm talking about even general friendships you think about your friend before you think about yourself hmm. and it's it's not something you're it's not a projection it's not like you're trying to prove to the world ki yaar dekho main itna acha insaan hu main you know iske bare mein soch raha hu main apne bare mein nahi soch raha hmm. but it's about relationships or friendships are about care hmm. before love because love is i don't know it's a very it's very badly been used so that terminology is ruined hmm. but i think care or just like that small things which really matter i think those things make an actual relationship is it actually like weird being an actor from that perspective where you get like too much attention on you sometimes so you have to always be concerned about what you're wearing yeah how like what yeah. what makeup's on yeah that's the that's what takes away from your peace oh uh, not really nowadays i just roam around cre- like not bothered and also now we're wearing masks right when we <laughs> go out so saves us a lot of getting ready time mm. uh but uh, mm, but uh, Yeah, I feel like just always being presentable is is exhausting. Hmm. Uh because you don't always look like that. You don't wake up looking like that. And um Yeah, there's a high expectation out of you at any given point of time. Like I mean if if you're if you're having a bad day or you're sick or you're just going through something really traumatizing, that will not stop anyone from coming and asking you for a selfie. Hmm. And you will have to oblige because they don't know that you're going through that and they don't really care. Have you faced sexism? like at any point in your whole career like do you do you notice it i think that's everywhere in our country probably even in the world hmm. um yeah but sometimes even today, like after you're fully yeah. established yeah, like what sure. like what happens mm. like your caravan will be a little further down than you know then see your male counterpart something uh, this sounds kind of trivial no no but it it as a girl i think these things really matter cuz sometimes you're in something really difficult to wear mm mm-hmm. and practically you would imagine that they would want to put the lady first mm. but it doesn't happen do you see that changing like as time is passing when the lady puts the foot down i think women have to still put their foot down mm to get that you do yoga yeah uh that's what's getting you more of the peace in life no i don't think yoga can get you peaceful uh peace is a very um you know i think till we as humans and individuals don't take it into our own hands and we keep blaming this and that and exterior forces it includes yoga the more you try to bring in things to bring you peace it just doesn't happen hmm. it's just something you have to do for yourself everyone has this void of not knowing their internal purpose after their career is sorted after yeah. you know okay my career is done now like i know that it's going well but there you still feel empty beyond the point is that same concept of you need to become rich and famous and then realize that that's not it correct so do you still have that do you wake up with existential questions where like where is why am i doing this why am i working so hard if you really want to answer that question is that you need to stop obsessing about it even trying when you when you try right i think the biggest problem is we try too hard you know sleep peace poop all happens when you chill hmm like you just need to go with the <laughs> you flow you need to just chill it hmm. you know you cannot the more you push things the more further away they get from you hmm and i think for me that's my answer to what happens after you professionally reached where you want to reach hmm. what do people not know about the industry which you only know on the inside we are labors in really good clothes hmm it's labor it's a very labor laborous job mm-hmm. we work physically very very hard mm-hmm. it requires you to be physically emotionally mentally there which is unlike any any other job like if i'm on a desk i don't really care about how i look but here i have to look right i have to feel right and i have to think right mm. so it's like when you're doing a drunken scene you can't really like drink a bottle of wine and then try to perform you i need to remember dialogues mm. is it true that actresses would always prefer a spouse from outside the film industry what happens is you live a certain life if your spouse also does 
the same thing mm-hmm. then your life becomes only about that mm-hmm. there is no other perspective in your life it's my opinion i mean i could this could be this could be different for other people mm-hmm. for me i think if i am doing this and my partner also is doing this then we are only talking about this there's nothing <laughs> there's no third element of and i feel like to have a holistic life it's important to have another perspective hmm. can you describe your dream man someone who self made i think that really matters to why, me why why does that matter i'm self made i think somewhere i that's one thing i would like in common because i feel like you value every penny um also the kind of values i'd want in my future kids or like my family that would be my family would be someone who really understands that you know you have to work for everything and it doesn't come easy mm. also that journey of becoming self made adds a whole layer to your personality yeah. you because you have to completely. go through so much shit absolutely hmm so it's very enriching when you are self made with people who are not self made from your own industry who have definitely come in through influence or the n word yeah uh, <laughs> like do you sense a difference in personalities there What? is but i still feel like their journey they are their problems are different than say someone who's not from the industry uh but yes there is a innate sense of surety which comes with the fact that somewhere see it's a very deep down it's a very deep rooted security that you have that you're from here so you know it's going to be easier to get your way around hmm say someone who is from outside will still always be like are what if my opportunity is not with me and i've seen that i've seen it in some some really big successful actors who are self made and not from the film industry uh who experience that insecurity and it's surprising because sometimes they they are so they do they're doing so well but that sense of insecurity doesn't leave them are people happy overall in the industry i don't think they would actually if i would be honest and i think it's it comes from the fact that if you are happy and con- content it does bring a little bit of com- you become complacent hmm because happiness does bring that le- that that little element in you, you. think everyone's going for that next thing in yeah. that and that's the only way we can even survive in our careers if we are not going for the next thing we cannot we have to be driven and that drive comes from a little bit of dissatisfaction so of course dissatisfaction has to be used well hmm if it's not used well then it's destructive but otherwise it's good do you sense jealousy around you people who yeah. want wish to be in your place yeah i sense it and i and i and i understand that a lot of people mask it in very very sweet behavior you know like sometimes when someone's really jealous of you they'll be really sweet to you uh which is like the classic meethi churi mm. uh who who like who's jealous of you like other actresses i i don't know i guess people from my fraternity people who are working i don't know if they're jealous that's a big that's a big term to say but no but they have that conniving thing they do want to pull you down i hope not but i think possibly they could i think everyone does i feel like that's really unfair when you see people wanting to do as well as you do but they put like 10% of the effort yeah what is spirituality for you first of all don't feel like there's anything right or wrong i feel like everyone has a different experience while they walk the path of life and uh, everyone's in- individual experience is right because it's their experience for me when it comes to spirituality and i haven't meditated half as much as you have to actually make a comment on it but what i think and what i think i understand of it is to be in a state where there is nothingness and that's the aim of being meditative because while there's a constant thing of thoughts going on it doesn't give our mind a break so only when we are not thinking but we are in the moment is when we are meditative if you had to just give like from 30 years of your life if you had to condense it down to like three learnings what would you share with the world there is no time there's no right time for something the right time is now take action take action don't wait we all procrastinate but don't wait um don't try too hard um and um and seize every moment to be happy